Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you on An Academy. I'm Prashasti Arora and today we will be discussing India and Nepal relations. We'll understand what exactly are the challenges that we have with Nepal and what, you know, how, uh, which are the areas of cooperation where we are cooperating with Nepal and what are the possible areas of cooperation in this regard. If you have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section. Now, uh, before going ahead with the session, a little bit about myself. I've done journalism and I enjoy delving deep into current affairs and current events. Core Sevi, which is Core Sevi ka YouTube channel, I cover the modern Indian history. Hai, main usse cover karti hun. So please do have a look at that as well. And uh, do not forget to subscribe to Core Sevi. And uh, do you can follow me on my Unacademy profile as well to get access to my other special classes that I have done and uh, you can avail a 10% discount now by using the code PRAS10. As soon as you use the code PRAS10, you will avail a 10% additional discount. And do not, lastly, do not forget to follow me on my Telegram channel for which the link is right here. Also, it is given in the description that will give you direct access to my uh, schedule of the day where as in when I take my classes or you know what time is uh, what what time do I share my uh, you know pdf study material all of that you can take from my telegram channel so please do subscribe to my tele telegram channel right away also new batches for UPSC CSC are going to be starting on the 18th of January so if you've not enrolled for the uh, the batch that you think is best suited for you please do that right away okay let's start with the India Nepal relations we'll talk about uh, you know our uh, you know uh, relations in a you know in the context of uh, you know our border disputes with Nepal and other issues that are gripping the ties of the two nations we'll talk about how Nepal's political instability is affecting India and then we'll talk about some areas of cooperation that includes strategic and defense uh, you know ties then there is cultural ties then there is economic ties we'll co uh, cover all of that now remember that uh, what the first thing that we have to know about india and nepal is that uh, uh, you know because of the kind of history that india and nepal share in fact uh, the the relationship uh, that we have with nepal is often described as the roti beti relationship now of course uh, Nepal at some point does think that India uh, act, acts as a bully but uh, you know uh, if you see the relationship in its totality India and Nepal really have very very inspiring ties now the cl this close relationship in fact has been you know reaffirmed through the India Nepal treaty the treaty of peace and friendship that happened in 1950 uh, uh, now of course uh, this treaty uh, there are recent talks regarding this treaty want, uh, getting to be amended but that will only be seen with the due course of time if this treaty can be amended now uh of course, the problem here, the main problem with India and Nepal is that, um, you know, the territorial disputes have engulfed, uh, you know, the ties between the two nations. And in fact, uh, you know, the, uh, this has even further complicated the matter with the release of the new official maps by Nepal claiming that all of the so-called disputed regions are a part of Nepal. Now, Nepal Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli made, uh, you know, uh, some claims that said that COVID-19 cases in Nepal have been, you know, have come from India and this really did, you know, hurt the sentiments for both the nations and the ties that both the nations share. Now, what are exactly the main challenges between India and Nepal? India's political and ruling class has, in fact, encouraged anti-Indian feelings amongst its masses. You know, in fact, it is said it is said in Nepal that it pays to be anti-national. Uh, you know, in Nepal, and in that regard, you know, India has disputes with many nations, but you know, certain neighbors like, um, for example, uh, neighbors like Bangladesh, but uh, an issue that you know that. Uh, where a nation is uh, has anti-national feelings uh, that is very very you know that is one uh, very very uh, you know sensitive point and it uh, does exist in Nepal and Pakistan which is why uh, you know the ties are, even if it wants cannot reach the full potential now 
uh, uh, you know, this was in display during the recent border dispute that was there in the limelight as well, wherein, you know, there were, you know, uh, anti-Indian feelings that uh, that were there in Nepal, right? So this is the one of the, this is the first major problem that, uh, you know, is there between both these nations. In fact, the government of Nepal has failed miserably when it comes to tackling uh, the, uh, the economic effects of the coronavirus pandemic. And in fact, to divert attention, the border di dispute was actually blown out of proportion and anti-Indian feelings were generated. Now, uh, this also comes in the backdrop of the fact that, um, you know, our uh, relations with Nepal has also been fluctuating because of the kind of political instability that is there in Nepal. Now, the ruling class gets to prolong its rule over the Nepali masses with these anti-Indian feelings. And in fact, it is important for Nepal to curb any sort of anti-Indian activities and feelings amongst the masses for, you know, our ties to get better and uh now talking about Nepal's political instability and its bearing on India, all political parties including the monarchy that ruled Nepal till 2007 has, you know, in some form or the other faced you know, issues and instability and in fact attempts have been made to overthrow their rule. But remember that in 2008, Panchananda was elected from the communist uh, United Communist Party of Nepal as the Prime Minister and after failing, Panchananda resigned in 2012. And remember that Nepal actually, you know, finally adopted its constitution in 2015. Before that, there was even more, you know, political stability that prevailed. Now, in fact, uh, Madhisis and uh, uh, you know you know the other uh, you know some fractions of the you know ne in, in, in Nepal uh, you know of the nation did uh, create law and order issues and did protest because they didn't uh, because they they were not okay with some of the things that were there in the constitution and in fact this led India to shut down its border with Nepal and in, uh, K P Sharma Oli was the prime minister then so uh, even before I said. That that political instability is one of the major reasons as to why India and Nepal have not been able to recognize their ties uh, to the fullest extent possible. Now, in fact, as Nepal suffered a humanitarian crisis, it refused to address the concerns of its very own people. And in fact, uh, you know, it accused India of enforcing an economic blockade. Now, on the other hand, during the visit of, uh, uh, you know, Prime Minister uh, Oli, K.P. Sharma Oli in 2016, um, you know, India p allowed, um, you know, the utilization of the Vizac port in Andhra Pradesh uh, for Nepali businessmen. Now, you know, uh, Remember that for Nepal, it's a very big deal because Nepal is a landlocked na na uh, nation. And in that regard, uh, utilization of any port in India will only enhance to Nepal's economy. And in that regard, uh, India did permit the utilization of the Vizac port. Now, uh, talking about the changing nature of the relationship. Now, while India continues to engage with Nepal through, you know, the cultural prism, Nepal seeks to look for you know, partners who can help them in developing the economic space. In fact, uh, you know, there have been demands to amend the India-Nepal Treaty of Peace and Friendship that, that was there in 1950. And in fact, uh, India recently also amended the treaty that we have with Bhutan. And in that regard, it is possible for India to also amend the treaty that we have with Nepal. Now, as far as India is concerned, the free movement of peoples across uh, people across the border has also been used, misused by Nepal, wherein, you know, um, uh, uh, in fact, terrorism activities have taken along uh, have taken place in the border and in fact it has become a hotspot for various uh, terror groups who are who are ready to infiltrate into India at any point in fact uh, Nepal's uh, closeness with China is also closely being watched um, you know in New Delhi and uh, India should obviously uh, as far as India's uh, national interests are not harmed India does not have any problem with you know uh, any nation building any ties with any other nation but uh, 
if at any point uh, in nepal and china are hampering india's uh, national interest that is when india will become more proactive and in that regard i have covered the phases of indian uh, foreign policy and you know the challenges and the outlook to indian foreign policy as well so do have a look at that and in fact india amended its india bhutan treaty as i said before also in 1949 the the 1949 treaty in 2007 so it was amended in 2007 so you know there is a strong cause to amend this treaty as well now uh talking about uh, you know a few aspects of the border dispute uh, defense minister rajnath singh inaugurated a road construct uh, you know connecting the lipu lake pass uh, you know in uh, you know in uttarakhand uh, and you know if, and because of that there was a lot of you know um, protest in nepal regarding this nepal was up in arms against this decision and in fact in 2019 after the passage of the jammu and kashmir act india really uh, uh, India released a new map showing Kala Pani as an integral part of India. Now, the border dispute involves the territories of Kala Pani. Lipudhara and Lipulek in the state of Uttarakhand and the Sustha region in the state of Bihar so these are some of the areas of dispute and the british uh, now we know that the british indian government and the nepali king signed the treaty of sauguli right sauguli in 1816 when was it signed it was signed in 1816 now according to nepal the mechi river became the eastern border whereas the kali river became the north western border with india of course we we can we'll do another explainer on the border issue with nepal but for now we're going to be sticking to the challenges and you know the general ties that we have with nepal now um, you know Be, the india says that as per old revenue records that kala river originates in the lipulek pass and hence all the territories belonging all the territories there belong to india in fact the sustha region too lies on the gandak river in the state of bihar this is what india claims but uh, uh, nepal is not um, it does not agree with this and uh, we'll do a separate session on you know the entire issue the border issue where we will uh, you know understand it with maps and you know we'll uh, try and point out exactly what the issue is now talking about the uh, you know dragon of course china is a uh has of course with every ties uh, every relationship that we have with our neighbor china has of course you know been one of the major you know problems in the ties that we have with our neighbors and you know uh, the fact that nepal joined the you know one belt one road initiative of china uh, in the year 2017 and ever since in 2019 the two nations also signed an agreement to enhance connectivity through the uh, you know construction of the all weather road between kathmandu and the tibet autonomous region as well now uh, you know uh, this is one of the projects that has invis uh, that has been envisaged under the you know trans himalayan multi dimensional connectivity network also that was announced in 2018 and uh, india really needs to address the changing equations between nepal and you know china and urgently amend the treaty that will really ensure uh, you know some sort of stability for india nepal ties now talking about the areas of cooperation the first one being is the defense uh, you know relations that we have with nepal now india has been at the forefront forefront in you know helping the nepali army in terms of supply of weapons and you know you know modernization of the you know Uh, you know the uh, modernization of the army and uh, you know the joint exercise between the two nations is called surya kiran and it takes place alternatively in the in both the nations and 2019 nepal was the one that hosted it in fact nepal is also very very integral to india's security although india does not entirely depend on, on you know nepal for its security but in, in nepal does play a critical role because of the kind of border we share with nepal now india and nepal are also part of sarc bimstec and you know other of major important forums now uh, 
talking about economic cooperation connectivity projects uh, india uh, nepal's uh, india is nepal's largest trading partner and uh, you know many indian investments have faced uh, you know uh, you know delayed approvals or rejection from nepali authorities due to the overall turn down uh, that has been uh, you know being that is being experienced between both the nations and as far as uh, relief work and you know development initiatives are concerned india has still been at the forefront and uh, it, you know indian assistance in nepal has always you know catered to the needs of the local communities in nepal and uh, you know the government of india has also envisaged the sagar mata sagar connectivity project now uh, these are some areas of cooperation uh, in terms of economic now we'll talk about energy cooperation india and nepal you know are um, you know are developing nations and import most of their you know energy requirements from each other there are more than 20 cross border transmission lines and this shows that how much uh, you know uh, uh, how much nepal uh, india and nepal cooperate in the energy sector and uh, in fact the two nations signed a power trade agreement in 2014 uh, you know according to which uh, during the times of shortage or during the times when uh, you know there is a, a you know lack of electricity both sides will buy and sell electricity from each other in fact india is also you know presently supplying about 600 megawatts of power to nepal and you know 2019 was uh, you know a landmark year as far as the energy sector uh, and you know energy cooperation was uh, is concerned uh, between the two nations and in fact the first cross border petroleum line was also inaugurated so you can see that uh, you know the energy cooperation is at an all time high with nepal now talking about some cultural relations uh, you know if uh, lumbini in nepal is the birthplace of lord buddha uh, you know he led most of his life in india he attained nirvana in gaya he preached for the first time in sarnath uh, in the deer park and and you know in, he in fact attained the maha pari nirvana at kushinagar uh, right and uh, in that regard um, both nepal and india share a very very rich um, you know historic and cultural background and in fact bus services have also been you know launched recently between the two cities and both the nations are part of the himalayan ecosystem which is very very fragile and you know tectonically active and in that regard both the nations can work towards ensuring that the himalayan ecosystem is you know a given para amount importance and you know it, it it is not neglected at any point so uh, in fact nepal like any other neighbor of india balances its uh, relationship that it has with china and india so of course uh, nepal india does not have an issue with the kind of relationship with uh, that nepal has with china but it should not at any point hamper india's national interest and in that regard a, a lot of areas more areas of cooperation can be you know if uh, uh, you know it emerged be because of the kind of uh, you know proximity that we share with nepal and the kind of people to people ties that we have with nepal in fact india also provides a lot of uh, assistance to nepal and uh, in that regard uh, the the you know relations can only be taken you know upwards uh, you know onwards and upwards if and uh, you know if the political administration there is you know supportive enough so this was a, a you know in a nutshell about the india nepal ties i hope you enjoyed this session please do not forget to uh, you know upgrade from the plus to the iconic subscription because uh, the pri iconic price hike is going to be taking place for sure on the 25th of january so beat the price hike and avail all these benefits ranging from you know connecting getting connected to a personal coach to means test series with evaluation to you know customization of your study planner and much more also please use the code pras10 to avail an additional 10% discount this is it from my side thank you so much for your time see you next time